Very slowly, United States-based sports leagues and organizations are trying to put product back before the global public. There will be a NASCAR event at the Darlington Raceway in South Carolina on May 17th. Some National Basketball Association team owners have opened their training camp facilities, and the same holds true for Major League Soccer as some team owners have opened the doors at their training facilities. Major League Baseball and the National Hockey League want their product available. The National Football League seems to be on hold as the 32 franchises have not been able to open training facilities. There is a rush to resume the business, but COVID-19 is not magically disappearing. It remains out there. In Germany, the country's soccer league is getting back onto the pitch despite the fact there have been players who have tested positive for COVID-19. The baseball leagues in Taiwan and South Korea are up and going, but Japan has had to shut down the Nippon Baseball League three times since March. A basketball league in China has not been able to get back onto the court. Getting sports back before the public is not going to be an easy task. Sports operators claim they need to consistently test all people connected with the product for COVID-19 and there remains a testing problem in the United States. All people include players, coaching staff, front office personnel, training staff, equipment people, bus drivers, security people. None of those people are staying in the bubble and will come in contact with others. There are many unanswered questions about COVID-19, which leads to the major question that seems to be unanswered. Just how safe is it to open up the sports business while COVID-19 spread continues in the United States? The sports experiment has started in the middle of a pandemic. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.